What's up everybody, Trix Ridiculous back with another Marvel's Avengers video. Today I wanted to talk about the unfortunate state of the game with the upcoming patch 2.3 and my expectations for future content in this game. Before we do, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new for more Avengers content. Those are free ways to support the channel and I really appreciate it. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now quick disclaimer before I start spewing here, I do not have any insider information as to the goings on at CD. So this is strictly my opinion and my speculation. Also, this video is not intended to be overly negative. It is simply the truth about how I feel about the game right now. Nothing more, nothing less. And lastly, this isn't directed at any developer personally, uh, as just as much of the successes of game design are a team and a studio effort, the shortcomings are also a team and a studio level effort. So I was brainstorming this video and kind of my thoughts for a little while now, but the patch notes for 2.3 just got posted and it really just confirmed the thoughts and fears that I've had about this game for a little while now. And just so we're clear, I'm not rooting against Avengers. I want want it to succeed and thrive as a player and a content creator. But the truth is, for those of you who, like me, have tons of hours in this game, you are burnt out to hell, right? And this probably isn't anything new. You may have been burnt out for several months at this point. Go look at any of your favorite Avengers content creators from the past right now. They're probably streaming something else, right? Now, that's not a bad thing in and of itself. There are a lot of great games out there, and I am personally playing several other games right now. Uh, but that would happen anyway, and that's really besides the point. The point is, how can Avengers regain that hype and that momentum to get everybody excited to play it again? Because the truth is, I want nothing more than for this game to be extremely dynamic and replayable. I want to be able to make tons of unique and fun builds and have an end game that can be grinded over and over on stream. But the reality is, that's just not what this game is. So the main focus of patch 2.3 is aimed at new players. And admittedly, the changes are overall pretty good. Uh, a more more streamlined approach to leveling, a cleaner war table user interface, more understandable quests, and just general ease and accessibility for newer players. These are good quality of life improvements and I am glad they're being added. As I've said in previous videos, the game is going to go free to play at some point. It is inevitable. When it does, there will be an influx of players trying the game out. And like we all know, the game is fun when it works. The characters feel unique. The combat is fun. Players playing for the first time will enjoy the game uh, and these quality of life changes will help usher them in a little more without scaring them away. And I'm all for that. So what is the big problem? Well, as part of the patch, we're getting a handful of new missions, and I'm making air quotes when I say new. We're getting several new drop zones and threat sectors in the Wasteland, one of which is a new villain sector in the Wasteland where you fight, you guessed it, Taskmaster. Now, I will reserve most judgment for when I actually play the mission, but if it's the same maestro level, but just with Taskmaster at the end instead, I'm gonna holler, all right? Now, some of you may be saying, Trix, you didn't even know that this was going to be part of the patch. They could have just not even given this to us. It was basically a throw and it was basically extra on top of all of the quality of life changes stuff. Yes, you are correct, but even though the effort to rehash a Taskmaster fight and just put it on a different map, is minimal, it is still some development hours, development hours that are precious to this company that can be going towards literally anything else in this game. The fact that releasing Taskmaster again in a new area was actually a priority for them and that that is the standard of quality they have for this game is what is going to be the greatest downfall to this game. Especially considering they refuse 
refuse to give us the old cloning lab's mission because it is essentially content from the past, which it is true. For those of you who don't know, the cloning labs was supposed to be the big end game Omega level threat that was coming out just weeks after launch. And it was essentially the bookend to the Monica Rappuccini cloning supervillain storyline, which was kind of the end of the campaign and a little bit of the post campaign. That story and that era of the game is in the past, right? And that is fine. But the fact that they can say they don't want to release something that doesn't fit in because it's old content and then immediately turn around and release a Taskmaster fight in the Wasteland, which honestly should have come with the Clint DLC, it blows my mind, all right? So that leads me to my ultimate point in this video, and that is the future of the game. We will get a roadmap eventually. When we do, it will have content on it. They claim the delay is because they want everything to be guaranteed to come out before they commit to putting it on there. And that is fine and good. That is great. But statements like that combined with the time it's taking for them to actually agree on what is, you know, what amount of content is realistic plus their standard of quality for the content they do put out being so low they are going to be stuck in perpetual mid with this game, okay? Now, is the game dead? No, that is too absolute. I don't think, you know, a lot of people like to compare this game to Marvel Heroes Omega, which actually got the plug pulled. What a lot of people don't remember is that game actually uh, got their Marvel license revoked by Disney because the CEO of the company was a crazy sex pervert and uh, that forced the gazillion uh, developer to actually go out of business. That is way different than what's going on here, okay? So is the game making some great, you know, comeback, some major, you know, turnaround and, and bringing everyone back? Also, no. The fact of the matter is the team at Crystal Dynamics who worked on the main game, the launch boxed game of Marvel's Avengers, really did not consider any type of live service when they were building it, which was a major disconnect because that was how the game was marketed and they didn't realize that half of the players that actually bought the game bought it for that reason. They were looking for a live service looter type game that was Marvel themed. Instead, they got a boxed story with absolutely no end game content. Therefore, the game stumbled right out of the box and basically the team that built the boxed version pieced out to go work on other things and essentially left behind a skeleton crew focused on the live service and they left them high and dry to clean up the mess, okay? Now, content for this game will come, but it will be slow, about as slow as it's been for the foreseeable future. And when we do get content, it will be buggy. It will be like the raid. Join in progress is never coming. And the game will gently coast along and coast along with occasional updates for a niche group of gamers that play it. And that is just the sad reality of how this game will be. Of course, I am not quitting the game and I will cover it until the end when there is stuff to cover and stream when this game is worthy of streaming. But I don't see any evidence of anything other than what I've stated in this video to be the future of the game. I hope more than anyone that they can prove me wrong. That's it for me in this one, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.